to the Survivor Cagayan unofficial after show. I'm your host, Edward Crane. Now, before we get started with this video, I know, I know, I'm wearing the same t-shirt as I was last week. It just happened that way. So, when the brains come back from Tribal Council, I'm still not over the whole stupid moves last episode. I mean, like, it was so deep inside, like, oh my god, that was so stupid. It gives us brains a bad name. So, going into this, I'm, I'm like, don't let it be like Malcolm's team from Survivor Philippines. Don't let it be like that. So, everyone just goes home. Because, I'm rooting for Spencer, and I don't want him to go home. Honestly, I'm still dumbstruck why they chose Jatia. I'm pretty sure she's a nice person, but she's not useful. Ty would be more useful in challenges than her. Jatia, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but you're pretty bad at this game. So, as we know, last episode, Dave found the hidden immunity idol, and he kept on insisting to Sarah he wasn't a cop. So, one night, he tells him. And now, they come up with Cops R Us. Hmm. Stealth R Us? Cops R Us? Hey, Survivor, I got a brand new season for you. Where's my paycheck? I mean, that rain was brutal. So, let's talk about the rain. Now, that rain was downright brutal. I mean, probably was a typhoon or something, because that shit was ridiculous. If you saw the wrinkles, like people's hands and feet, they look like. They look like cadavers. Like, their hands and feet look like they belong to cadavers. And cadavers are dead corpses. If you don't know what a cadaver is. In this storm, LJ from the Beautiful Tribe found a hidden immunity idol. Which is not bad. I mean. That was smart of him, and I give LJ props. So when the Brain Tribe was reading off the challenge, and they all wanted to practice, I was... okay. Um, I really enjoyed it, because we haven't seen, like, practicing in a while, and the way they did it was funny, with, like, classical music, like, do 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 and like I thought it was kind of funny not like laugh out loud funny but it was like worth a chuckle or two mm -hmm. but going into this I'm rooting for the brains and hoping they don't have to go to tribal again so during the challenge brains was in last place and I was like fudge and I was like, oh no, 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 no. Why, brains, why? And then they come in second place. And Bronze go in first. And I'm like, yes! Yes! Finally! They catch a break. And then the beautiful tribe has to go to travel. Now, going into this, I remember about the beauty alliance between Jeremiah, Morgan, and Bryce. And I'm like, oh, I th when I first saw that, I was like, oh, they're going to be the main alliance of the beautiful tribe. But, uh, Jer Jeremiah could go either one of two ways. One, either join the biggest threats, Bryce and Morgan, or Jeremiah could go on the side with LJ, Jeffra, and Alexis. Now, he would definitely have the numbers if he went with LJ, Jeffra, and Alexis, and I think that's one of the reasons he went on that side. So we had a three-way tie and a revote. Now, three-way tie seldom happens in Survivor, but, so, a three-way tie seldom happens in Survivor, so it's a bit unusual when we see one, and this time, Bryce had to go. 
surprised. He seemed like a cool dude, and I think they were smart to get rid of you because you did seem like a social threat. Just remember, you did your best, and blind sides happen to the best of us. Now it's time to mark him out. Three down, 14 contestants go till we get our sole survivor. Who do you think it will be? Leave a comment below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.